Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland. Um, before we get started, I just wanted to mention that um, I recently got hacked and lost my Instagram profile. Uh, so I have a new account, which is at Nikki Claire Creates. Um, so if you would like to re-follow me on there, uh, normal posting service will resume very soon. <laughs> okay, so today I am um, designing for Bramble Fox and I have a fun Easter layout uh, to do today using the cutest ever set from the Bramble Fox shop. Uh, it's called Hoppy Easter and it comes with a title that says Hoppy Easter um, and uh, a few bunny rabbits as well and they are just the cutest. I absolutely love this set. It was just delightful. Um, and uh, I have some funny photos of me and my children um, eating uh, Cadbury's cream eggs, uh, which is uh, we all love, absolutely love. And my, my little one, who's only 18 months old, um, had a Cadbury's cream egg, a whole one to himself. Oh my goodness, he thought all of his Christmases had come at once. Uh, so he even kind of ate the wrapper a bit, really. So, uh, so anyway, this is quite a cute little story um, that I wanted to document. So um, this photo, was this... Um, Bramble Fox perspective was perfect for that story. Uh, so I'm starting off with a sheet of white cardstock and I'm going for an angled background to get some pattern paper onto my layout. Uh, so um, it's been my scrappy New Year's resolution for 2020 uh, to get more patterns onto my layout because I have a wall of scrapbook layouts. Um, I have about 30 layouts displayed um, and um, I looked one day and they were literally everyone was a white background so um, I set myself a goal to get more pattern paper onto my layout it doesn't have to be a whole sheet but um, I'm trying to get a proportion of the page at least um, to have some paper on so or pattern so um, I love these angled layouts with the angled backgrounds I in love with that gingham paper um, it is I believe a pink for studio paper from the noteworthy collection I think um, and um, I have cut a and it really screamed Easter to me as well with the yellow gingham it's just really really lovely spring Easter style paper so um, I have chopped a big portion of that off and I chopped another one off of the Paige Evans Bloom Street floral paper that's so so pretty um, and I've used that to um, as a backing so I've got like a border of that pretty floral all the way around the edge of that um, angled gingham paper at the top of the layout. Um, so um, that's how I started off with my background um, and now I'm working um, on arranging my photos. So I have three photos um, and uh, it's a bit of a tall order to fit them all on together with that title Hoppy Easter which is quite big. Um, it's slightly challenging to use because it's white and therefore I ideally would have liked it onto a different colored background um, rather than white on white because I feel they get lost slightly um, so I was trying to work out if I could put it on the color in the end I think it looks way better underneath um, it's also an open title which means it has lots of gaps in it which means um, I can't put it over lots of different layers because you would see all of those layers through and then again you would lose the definition of the title so I could either back the Hoppy Easter or I could just place it onto a plain uh, part of my layout uh, background so I've gone I'm going to put it onto the white section the little bunny in the middle of hoppy so the O has ears um, and that's a solid piece so that bit can overlap something else without it detracting from the design um, so um, I am going to overlap the ears um, onto the paper slightly just to bring it all together I like all of my elements not to have too many gaps and to all kind of touch and uh, feel like they are one piece rather than have trapped space um, so uh, that is I'm going to combat that by putting the bunny ears up a little bit and also filling in that gap you can see uh, between the photos um, with some other embellishments as well um, so I had these um, really lovely Pink Fresh Studio tags um, and envelopes so you can see the really nice green envelope at the top there and there's also a tag it's a very big tag um, and um, I have used those as paper layers rather than um, to use what, use the envelope as an actual envelope. There's nothing inside the envelope. Um, in fact, I think I end up sticking it down. Um, I certainly trap it under something else so that it doesn't doesn't open. Um, and um, it's I say it's just a nice. Um, they're just nice paper layers. They were really lovely spring colours. I love this colour combination for Easter. So we have the the light um, yellow 
background gingham and the spring green um, envelope and then also the hot pink and purples uh, from the Pink Fresh Studio Noteworthy collection and also from Paige Evans Bloom Street. Um, they uh, really do um, make the whole thing pop and give it a fun, more fun, um, brighter colour scheme than the traditional really pale pinks uh, that would normally be associated with Easter. Um, so there you go, there I am sticking my envelope down because it was bothering me that it was flapping up um, and um, I'm just arranging my string as well. So instead of it just um, being random, um, I wanted to kind of stick it in place so that it was nicely looped. Um, so I've done that um, and then I go and cover most of it up anyway, so I don't really know why I bothered. Um, <laughs> so um, okay, I'm just distressing the edges of that beautiful tag and I'm also going to tie um, some gold twine through it as well because you know how I love my twiddles. Um, so yeah, I can't really have a tag with nothing in it. That just is a bit wrong to me. Um, so, um, so yeah, I'm just... Uh, just doing that now. So I've just literally looped it through the brad, not the brad, eyelet, the eyelet that's in the um, in the tag. I've just looped it around there several times and secured it on the back with some tape. Um, I will add more uh, thread to the layout as well, but um, for now that gold just needed to loop through um, through the top of the tag. So that's what I've done there. Um, so now I am uh, mounting my photos and getting those stuck in place. So um, the photo on the right needed a bit more uh, definition um, against the different patterns on the tag um, so I've just added a border in a light green um, that gives me makes my photo a little bit wider so it actually covers up more of the tag so it meant that I didn't have any patterns uh, shining through. Um, the middle photo um, I'm going to mount in a minute the one on the left the landscape one um, gives um, I've, I've mounted in hot pink and that's to match the hot pink at the bottom of that tag um, on the right that's showing through um, so um, yeah that kind of brings that color scheme in um, a bit more um, and then the middle one I'm mounting on a scrap piece of that beautiful floral Paige Evans Bloom Street paper um, so just um, adding uh, just mounting that as well and I just dress the edges of all of my um, of all of my photo mounts um, just again it gives a bit of separation it makes the edges slightly whiter um, and it just gives them a bit of dimension um, and uh, I just feel for me that at the moment that I'll change my mind at some point but <laughs> at the moment uh, that is what's working for me and um, I'm really loving having everything uh, all the edges distressed of everything at the moment I was actually on holiday with my mum recently uh, back in at uh, Christmas time and um, I showed her one of my layouts and it had like a tear in one of the sections it was like one of the edges and she was like is, is that meant to be like that I said yeah it is yeah she's like well I couldn't do that I'd have to repair it I was like oh okay <laughs> so maybe it's not everyone's taste uh, but it's definitely and she's a scrapbooker too so um you know she she does know a bit more she's not just a um a lay person um she does know a bit about scrapbooking so anyway I thought that was a really comedy um thing for her to say I say so it might not be everyone's cup of tea but it is mine at the moment it's what's working for me so I am distress happy at the moment <laughs> okay so you can see that I'm carrying on building up my layout um, I'm adding some florals now so I wanted to get some floral clusters in either side of the photos um, I've also um, started a small one um, above the landscape photo too there was a big jump in height of photos from the low landscape one to the top middle one a uh, big jump in height there so I just felt that that gap needed to be filled in with something so uh, there's a frame and a floral sticker in there too um, and then the other clusters I'm just having those uh, spray out from the corners of the other two photos um, so just um, sorting that um, those little bits out I've just pulled out that um, yellow circle and I've just placed it for now to the right of my photo it's not staying there um, but um, it was really lovely it just says seeker of everyday magic um, and um, it really is an everyday thing just playing around with you know chocolate <laughs> um, but uh, you know we were all stuck in the house we, we weren't doing anything um, but it was just really nice to all mess around and eat a Cadbury's cream egg in front of the camera um, lots of impressions of how do you eat yours um, so yeah everyday magic definitely um, so carrying on adding ephemera I've added that bird to the bottom left and a rainbow um, they are uh, from the Pink Fresh Studio Noteworthy collection um, and uh, I'm just continuing to build up um, 
my little custards. Oh, I'm now dealing with that everyday, secret of everyday magic um, circle. I've just distressed the edges and I'm going to put that in the middle of that cluster. So it covers up the bottom corner of the photo um, and um, it doesn't, um, it kind of fits, uh, the flowers kind of frame it. So um, that works there. Um, and then you can see that I've got my little bunnies um, dotted around the page as well. So I have three little bunnies. Um, the set came with four and there's one that you can see him over on the left hand side off the layout. He's kind of jumping and he's really the wrong way around for my layout. So he'll have to be um, used on a different layout. I'm, I feel bad that I've separated him from his friends. Um, but um, he'll just have to, um, I'll have to find a different use for him. Believe me, I'm sure there'll be more Easter layouts coming up once Easter is a bit closer. Uh, and my daughter asked me today, Mummy, will the Easter bunny still come? <laughs> I was like, um, yes, hopefully, I think so. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I'm sure there'll be more Easter photos. Um, fingers crossed we can get um, the supply of Easter eggs that apparently is unaffected by the current uh, supply chain issues. <laughs> so hopefully we should be able to buy loads of Easter eggs and uh, therefore we will um, not starve. Uh, okay, so because you know it's a balanced diet isn't it having chocolate, so yeah. Um, okay, so I'm just adding some little labels here and there, uh, words that are um, appropriate for my layout. So at the top I have a hooray tag, then I, underneath I have laughter um, and I'm about to add yes um, on the right hand side and fun um, and I've got a little circle above the um, everyday magic circle that says happy days so all of these um, work really well uh, for this layout nothing is overly specific um, but they all work well for the current situation that we were in on that day um, so um, I've just stuck my um, Hoppy Easter title down it's a large title and I've stuck it with glossy accents so for a few moments I just put my water mason jar on top of the Hoppy Easter just to hold it down to make sure that it had bonded a little bit with the background um, and I didn't get any like because it the paper kind of warps doesn't it when you put too much adhesive on because it's a wet adhesive um, so then you can find that it can warp away from the title itself and therefore not bond so I'm uh, just doing that with um, by sticking something heavy on top of it just for a few minutes and it's just enough to hold it in place for long enough oh so that you can see that I tried to add my my jumping bunny at the top of that section had I have not put the flowers and the frame there I possibly could have got away with him there um, but because those were already there um, he just didn't work I'm afraid so he definitely does get removed later um, he gets expelled from the layout. <laughs> um, okay, so just carrying on building up my clusters. Um, just wanted a few more florals. I felt that the um, cluster on the right hand side needed extending up a little bit because the photo and the tag were so high. Um, I just felt that that needed um, a little bit um, there. Um, also, I did have a bunny sat there, but I had to remove him because he wouldn't fit properly. Um, so he's now sitting in the middle of the photos instead of over on the right hand side. Um, and he works much better there because he has more space. Um, over on the right, it was a very small space um, and the flowers were uh, poking into him and he just he just didn't look right. So um, he looks way better in the middle there. Um, and you can see I filled in that gap in the middle of the photos too. So I have um, some fussy cut hearts. They were from a journaling card. Um, and uh, I'm just adding there a uh, little puffy uh, epoxy style round circle. It just has a little flower sprig on. Um, and then I've added another flower underneath that photo, the bottom right corner of the um, of the landscape photo. I don't know if I've already done it or if, I think I have already done it, um, or if that's what I'm doing now. Oh, I have already done it and now I'm adding my little words which say happy together. Um, so again, another little phrase that works well uh, for some silly photos that we have. A lot of my photos are going to be taken inside the house now. <laughs> Um, so, uh, okay, I'm just um, handwriting in my journaling. I'm nearly done. I've just got to um, finish off with some splatters and things. And uh, I just want to write my journaling in before I do my splatters for once I remembered. Um, so my um, journaling reads, how do you eat yours? We love Cadbury's cream eggs in our house. Theo managed to eat his with the wrapper still on. <laughs> See, I gave it to him to post for the photo and then by the time I said it's okay to eat them, he'd already started, <laughs> so he kind of ate some of the wrapper, but you know, we don't worry about these things. 
Um, so, um, okay, so I'm just splattering the two clusters. Um, I'm not going to go onto the background at all, just onto the two clusters and in the middle where the title is. So, as in, I'm not going on the background of the gingham. Um, and uh, yeah, just um, doing that now and finishing off. And then I'm just going to turn the camera off and wait for it to dry because um, I also want to add some machine stitching and I can't do that with wet splatters. So um, now I have finished my layout and I have added the machine stitching. I'm bringing it up to the camera so you can see it, but I'm not sure that you can see it that well. But I've added white machine stitching through a lot of the lines on the gingham background and around the edge as well. Um, okay, that is me done. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Um, so you can get the Happy Easter set from the Bramble Fox shop. Um, it's available there and perfect for all Easter photos, whether they have bunnies on them or not. Um, okay, so thank you for joining me. That was Nikki Rowland for Bramble Fox. <laughs>